Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the views so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another beer review. Uh, it is March 1st, 2016. Today is my birthday, and I figured I would have a hopefully amazing, I'm sure it's going to be amazing beer, uh, to celebrate. Uh, I have not been drinking beer during the week lately for whatever reason. And uh, so this is kind of a rarity for me right now for 2016 anyways. It is a uh, Tuesday night and I'm going to open a beer. So uh, I figured I might as well go to my wheelhouse, to my favorite, 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 favorite brewery in the country, Treehouse Brewing, Munson, Massachusetts, to check out the one and only, very hazy. Uh, Haze is one of my favorite double IPAs. This is the, I guess, imperial version of that. 8.6% alcohol by volume, double IPA. This was canned on February 18th, so we are right in that two to three, eh, two, two and a half weeks. Uh, I like, I've told you guys this before, Treehouse beers at like three to four weeks, so we're right in that, uh, in that thing. And the bottom of this can is awesome. It says, haze me, bro. I don't know if that's gonna, it probably won't focus, but it says, haze me, bro. Don't haze me, bro. But yeah, Haze is one of my favorite uh, favorite double IPAs, one of my favorite Treehouse beers. Um, I actually kind of wish I had a can of Haze to do side by side with this. They just actually, I think they're doing a canning run on that tomorrow, but I have no Haze, so I'm just gonna drink this uh, on its own. Uh, I have not seen, I think, I think Nick from What Cheers did a review. I have not watched that video yet. I have not seen any reviews on this, haven't looked anything up. Uh, I mean, people on Facebook have been kind of going nuts over it. It seems like every time like an imperial version of a beer, like a new beer or a new can comes out, all of a sudden it's everyone's favorite Treehouse beer. So I don't know if it's like a hype thing for everyone or, or what, but super, super stoked to check this one out. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's anything, el anything else to say about that. Uh, I reviewed Haze. Um, it was, I think it was like the second or third Treehouse beer I ever reviewed. So um, you guys can check out that review on my channel. Oh, um, I will say too, I was in Vegas over the weekend with uh, Nathan from Behind the Bar, one of my very best friends in the entire world. And uh, we, I was fortunate enough that he brought a couple of absolute whales with him and we, re we reviewed them. So I will leave a link. Please check out the links in the description. We reviewed a 2014 vintage of Assassin and we reviewed a 2015 vintage of SR71. We actually drank them back to back on Friday night and it was the beer experience of my life. So uh, please, please go check those out. They're on his channel. Again, I will leave links to those below. Um, those beers absolutely blew my mind. And uh, yeah, I'm so, so thankful for that. So bro, thank you so much for sharing those. So yeah, let's get into this one. I am thirsty. It has been a long day. I just got home from coaching baseball. It is 7.30. I am ready, so ready for a beer. It's a bummer. It's always a bummer when your birthday falls on like your your actual birthday falls on a weekday because you can't like rage. Well, you can rage, I guess, but there will be no raging for me tonight. My wife uh, is teaching tonight, so I am just going to sit back and relax and enjoy this beer <laughs> by my lonesome. So it's funny. There's people who don't like drinking alone, and I don't think drinking a beer alone is a, is a, like a bad thing. You learn a lot about yourself when you open a good beer by yourself and just kind of hang out and sip on it for a while. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna enjoy making it another 365 days around the sun, so. Uh, yeah, this, it's Treehouse. It looks like orange juice. It looks like pineapple juice. It looks like tangerine juice. It is completely opaque. Uh, there was about a finger of bright white head when we poured that. It's dissipating pretty quickly, um, but there's already, Apparently I should have asked for a new camera for my birthday. This thing fucking sucks. Logitech, you're the worst. So anyone watching this video, if you own a Logitech camera, fucking throw it on the ground and step on it. If this thing's useless. I'm done. I'm done with it. That's like the third time it's happened in a row. At least, I mean, whatever. So yeah, we were looking at the beer. <laughs> uh, there was about a finger of bright white head uh, when we poured that. Um, it is super fluffy. Um, there is alcohol legs, four days on this at 8.6% but it looks absolutely amazing in the glass. So I could smell that when I opened it. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and shove our nose in it and see how it smells. <laughs> uh, fuck. It smells like passion fruit juice. I don't even know what passion fruit juice is because when I was a kid, I used to drink like that fake juice that says like passion fruit. I have no clue what's in it, but it smells like that. 
It is just explosively juicy. It is fucking insane, this nose on this beard. This is crazy. It's like it's like billowing out of the glass. You ever seen like those cartoons when like there's a chimney and smoke is just billowing out? The aroma of this is just billowing out. It is insane. It's like thick and like <laughs> you can it's like I can it's like I can feel it. It's nuts. This is insane. It is tangerines, it's pineapples, it's mangoes, it is oranges, it's there's a little bit of grapefruit. It's herbaceous, there's like basil, there's green hot matter, there's like fresh squeezed orange juice. There's like that sunny delight thing. This beer is fucking stupid smelling. This might be the best nose on a treehouse beer that I've smelled. I had said, I think I said like Juice Machine and King Julius were like the best noses. This is probably better than that. It's insane. Eight point, what is it, eight point six percent? No booze to be found anywhere. It's a fruit smoothie. It's crazy. I'm salivating. I'm not gonna smell this anymore. Let's go ahead and dive in. Uh, I have to, as always, say thanks to my man Leo for hooking this up. Thank you so much for for sending this. Um, and cheers to all you guys who watch. I've had a blast doing beer reviews. Um, I think this is the first. I don't know if I reviewed a beer on my birthday last year or not, but you know what? Cheers to birthdays. If anyone else's birthday is today, Justin Bieber, his birthday is today. I think Chris Webber's birthday is today too. Speaking of, we're playing, we've been playing NBA Jam lately. So yeah, all you guys who are celebrating birthdays in March, cheers to all of you. Uh, and yeah, Leo, thank you, sir. I don't even, I don't, I mean, come on. I don't, I don't know what to say. That's insane. Seriously, I don't know what to say. I really don't. I could just turn, I could stop, we could stop the review right now. Because uh, there's... It's just, it's one of the most mind-blowingly juicy, balanced, flavorful, fruity, herbaceous, just velvety, creamy mouthfeel, stupid easy drinking, balance, no booze. Like, it's just, I don't know. Just fucking drop the mic and throw it, do whatever you want kick it this dumb this is stupid I'm not gonna be I, it's, it's, I, I don't need to hype this beer um, it's up there with this is up there with the best hoppy beers I've ever had uh, if they brewed this regularly I would probably like this more than green which is really insane for me to say because that beer for the last uh, year over a year now I think has been my favorite beer um, but if they brewed this all the time, I would drink this. I would take this over any beer. I would take this over King Julius. I would take this over Very Green. I would take this over Juice Machine. I would take this over Green. This is better than any Trillium beer I've ever had. It's the best New England. I think this is the best New England beer I've ever had. This is dumb. This is next level, um, just explosively juicy. Just, it hits on all notes. It's balanced, it's flavorful, it's mouthfeel is on point. This is crazy. It's so soft. I don't know what to say, um, except it's amazing and I love it. Um, it's tropical fruits for days. Uh, it's oranges, it's citrus, it's balanced. It's, it is, I'm, I'm actually, I'm, this is, I'm mind blown by this. Um, yeah, this is, without a doubt, uh, Hunnitz. Um, I, I, I'm speechless. <laughs> I, th this review sucks, because I don't know what to say. It's, it's like, it's just when you think Treehouse cannot make a better beer, they're like, oh, have some very hazy, dickhead. See how that tastes. 
So, um, <clears throat> I'm sure there'll be comments that people drink this and haze side by side, and they'll say, oh, I couldn't really tell a difference, but I don't have a can of haze right now. And um, I had King Julius this weekend in Vegas, and I had Very Green this weekend in Vegas. And I had Hop Juju, and I had Green, and I had... What else did we drink? We drank a shit ton of awesome hoppy beers, and this beer tastes better than every single one of them that I drank this weekend. So, um, it's 100. It's perfect. There's nothing more to say. Uh, quite possibly the best beer treehouse has ever brewed that I've had. Any style. This is dumb. So... Um, I will just leave it with that. If you can get your hands on Very Hazy, I would trade for it. I would do anything I can to get my hands on it because... Actually, I hope they brew this more because this is insane. If you guys have Very Hazy, uh, it's about two and a half weeks old right now. It is drinking absolutely fucking perfectly. So crack it open and enjoy it. It's done. It's 100. It's perfect. It's fucking amazing. Uh, this was the best beer that I could have opened tonight for my birthday. Leo, I love you. Thank you for sending this. I owe you my life. And uh, anyone at Treehouse who's watching this, please, please, please brew some more of this because this is fucking stupid. It's dumb. And I love it. And I love all of you. Every single one of you who works at Treehouse, you guys are bae. <laughs> That's it. I'm done. Uh, yeah. Sorry for the horrible review. This is, this is probably one of the worst reviews I've ever had on my channel. And I don't care because when a beer leaves you speechless, I think I said it during the Assassin review that we did, if you want to check that out. It's 100. So... I would just be rambling on about nothing. It's amazing. So get your hands on it. I'm out of here, guys. Sorry for the mess up in the beginning with the camera. This camera sucks. I think I'm going to, uh, I think it's time to buy a new one. So uh, thanks as always, guys, for watching. We just hit 1,500 subscribers. So that I'm actually, I'm blown away by that. You guys who, who watch these videos and comment on them and like them, it's just, it's amazing that you guys are still around. So I thank you from the bottom of my heart for watching. So. Uh, yeah, tell your friends. Anyone who's into beer, have them come hang out and talk beer. It's fun stuff. So if you've had Very Hazy, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. It's perfect. It's amazing. Um, it's probably going to be the best beer of 2016. Spoiler alert. Hoppy wise, best beer. Ha ha ha. All right. I'm out of here, guys. Uh, I will see you next time. Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe.